at the time that the other company I was working at went bankrupt, um, it was a small little company. I was in business school at the time. I was going nights and weekends down to Claremont to the uh, Claremont Graduate School, the Drucker Center, and all the case studies there you do were like Nuco, just like a new company. And um, so he was trying to think of a name. We couldn't come to a name, and so we just started calling this thing Nuco. And this thing just started. People just said, "That's an odd name, Nuco." And uh, and that was the working name because it took about nine months to sort of create the business plan, get the funding. But we were struggling the whole way to come up with a name. And the previous company that had went bankrupt's name was Chenard Equipment, but it had a diamond C in the name. And so and it was the nickname for the company was kind of the diamond was the diamond C. People in the know we call it. Ah, oh, it's the diamond C. Um, and that was the blacksmith's mark that was used for, it was Chenard equipment. And at the time, the blacksmith would take the first letter of the company's name, put it in a diamond, and that meant a blacksmith. And another famous old company, Peninsula Island Works, had a P in a diamond. So we're thinking like, okay, we want it, we can get this diamond C, we gotta figure out a way to use it. It's like diamond mountaineering, ah, that's really sort of nothing. And we just struggled for a name, but we wanted to use that diamond C. And we just kept going on and on. And it was literally, we signed the papers to buy the assets of Chenard Equipment out of bankruptcy. We still didn't have a name other than Nuco. Somehow, we just started brainstorming. Somebody said, hey, black diamond. You know, like, black diamond, you know, it's rare, it's unusual. And it's you know, black sheep, bad boy, James Dean, and climbers and you know, off-piece skiers kind of think of themselves as much of iconoclastic James Dean, bad boys. And then black diamond is rare, what would be rare. And then in skiing, black diamonds means difficult. That's it, black diamond, of course. And in um, the black, there's a C that we could put the C in. And so originally we took that old ironwork C, put it in the C of black, and that was our logo kind of picking up the um, traditional logo type of the old company. And then in um, 2000, we felt like we were confident enough of ourselves, mature enough of who we were, and designed a, with the help of a, um, a firm here in Salt Lake, an de uh, ID design firm, um, and came up with the new logo that you see today, the new icon, which for those of us who've been here a while and our consumers who knew our DNA heritage back to Chanel Equipment, they see the C in our new icon. And those who never, it's 20 years, ever heard of Chanel Equipment, they see nothing but a very modern, forward-looking icon that represents the black diamond icon. So today we're very proud of the name, and uh, it just seems like it was the perfect name. But it came at the 13th hour. <laughs>